What's going on guys? As you can see, we're finally back into the studio here. We've got the dope lights behind us, but we are here to talk about transitions in DaVinci Resolve today. And I know you've been there, I've been there, we're also there sitting watching a Sam Colder video and we're like, how does he do it? How does he do these transitions? And I, my mind's blown, your mind is blown, everybody's mind is blown. We don't know how he does it, but in his latest video, his Hayton video that he dropped, one transition that blew my mind was how he took his drone clips and he combined them using like clouds and fog and how he just like, he'd like fly into the fog and then come out this other side in a completely different clip. It blew my mind. And I tried to figure out how he did it and I spent a lot of time doing it. And as you guys just saw, I figured out how I think he did it. <clears throat> Maybe he does it a better way than me, but I found out a way to make it look good within DaVinci. I'm about to show you guys and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it really is and how it can open the door to more creative ways of thinking. And uh, yeah, so let's just get into it. Let's dive into DaVinci. All right guys, so we are back here in DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, I have imported my footage here. I got the fire that goes up into the sky and then I got the drone shot right here. Now, one thing I will say is when doing transitions like this, it needs to be thought out like beforehand because you need something that goes up into the sky and that can transition out of what could be clouds and it could be two drone shots it could be something like what i did here um, it could be exhaust it could be fog anything that you guys can think of just it kind of needs to be pre-thought out but anyways let's get into it this is a pretty easy to do transition so what i did is i went to videoblocks.com and i downloaded this fog in motion overlay now if you guys don't have video blocks i suggest checking them out because they got some super awesome stock footage and overlays and light leaks and you name it they got it they're amazing i've been using them for about two years now and i use them on client footage i use them on my own uh videos they're great but anyways check them out i'll put the link in the description below for this fog overlay it's a little too long so we're gonna trim it up to about right here and if you notice that it's got like this black in the background. So what we gotta do here is you wanna highlight your clip and we need to go up to this, the composite mode here and we need to change it to screen. And what happens when you change it to screen is it subtracts all of the black out of the clip and it'll leave only the light and the highlights. So what we'll leave is the fog, as you can see right here. Now, if you notice, we're gonna watch it back. It's kind of a harsh transition between the two clips and the fog. Easy, easy fix. So what we're gonna do is if you come over here to DaVinci, and I love this about DaVinci Resolve, is like up here in the left-hand corner, you see this little tab? You're gonna grab it, pull that bad boy in, come over to the right, and we're gonna pull that bad boy in that way, and now watch how easy that transitions. Beautiful, now the only thing that I don't like is how it's such a hard cut between the two clips. Again, another easy fix. We're gonna come up here to the effects library, come down to video transitions, go to cross dissolve, put it in between there. Now let's watch this back one more time. Just a seamless transition. Now, of course you'd add a whole bunch of sound design to all of this and we'll get into sound design in later videos and we'll get into you know, other different types of overlays and everything in later videos, but for this, we're just gonna keep it short, sweet, and simple on how I did this cloud transition and how I think Sam Colder might have done it. You know, he might have done it completely different for all I know, but I know that this works and it does look good. So for anybody out there wanting to try it, you know, try it, shoot me the links in the, uh, in the comments and I'd love to see what you guys do and the work you guys come up with. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you everybody for subscribing and following along. Make sure if you haven't subscribed, that you subscribe so you can see the latest videos that we're coming out with. We're doing about one a week. We're gonna try to get it up to two a week. Um, if you guys wanna see anything in particular, leave it in the comments. Make sure you guys like and share. Love you all. Thank you all for watching. I'm gonna catch you in the next one.